Well, hello there, folks. Today we've definitely got a spicy one. They're giving us an entire tier of relics. Three new relics to pick between. Maybe not new, maybe coming back. I don't know. I haven't looked at them yet. Exactly. All I know is they are utility relics. Whole tier, familiar features, and some brand new ones. Herblaw, pickpocketing, sages, greaves. Let's watch the video and find out. These look wild, yo. Holy shit. Okay, so just to be clear, we have no idea what tier this is. If it's early, that Herblaw one could be crazy. That's the one that's showing me first tier. Friendly Forager. Okay. Upon choosing this relic, you receive the Forager's Pouch. It will provide the following benefits whilst in your inventory or equipped. When you gather resources from woodcutting, fishing, mining, and hunting, it will find and store a random grimy herb. Limited to herbs, your herb ball level plus 25, while also providing a small amount of token XP when one is found. The Forager's Pouch will only find herbs it has room to store, but will always attempt to give you a herb you can receive. Okay, that's interesting. So you could fill your pouch up with herbs that you've got loads of, so that you get just the herbs that you don't have many of. Very interesting. It works just like a herb sack and shares an inventory with it. Okay, so yeah, you could just do what I just said. You gain the following benefits to herb law and crafting potions. Secondary ingredients have a 90% chance to not be consumed. Stacks additively with other sources. And created potions contain four doses instead of three. That's fantastic. Just constant four dose potions. Very nice. Okay, there's some power here for sure. Kinda depends how early. If you get this at like tier two or three, I feel like because of the amount of random shit you do in early tasks, you might get a task that's something like make a hundred willow longbows. And you're like, oh, okay, I guess I have to go cut a hundred willow logs then. So you go and do that and you'd get a hundred herbs while you're doing that. Am I, am I reading this wrong? When you gather resources, it will guaranteed find and store a random grimy herb except it's semi-random because it will only find herbs it has the room to store it will always attempt to give you a herb you can receive you can just fill it with the ones you don't want get collect the one you do this is incredible very good i mean the other two are obviously going to be heavy hitters as well but yeah friendly forager looking like a solid pick for anyone who hits her block all right the corner cutter you will receive the sage's griefs and while equipped they will grant you a Agility XP based on your agility level while you run. Completing an agility course grants 2 completion count and 25% bonus XP. Marks of Grace will also spawn 10k coins. Double the quantity of Pyramid Tops, Hallowed Marks and Brimhaven Vouchers and Crystal Shards from Agility. Which would mean 2 per lap, you usually get 1 per lap. This feels weak to me, actually. I mean sure, if you never want to run a lap, then the sage just grieves it great. But if you never want to run a lap, then you're not gaining the benefits of this, this, or this. So it's kind of counterintuitive, because the reason people liked this is because it meant they didn't have to go and train agility. Putting it with, hey, we actually want you to go and train agility, like, it devalues this? So I feel like you're not picking this for the Sage's Greaves. You're picking this if you like agility and you want buffs to it, if you want to do courses. Like, if you were planning on 
picking something like hallowed, that adds hallowed to polka, pyramid tops, and crystal shards all three, then yeah, maybe this is the one for you, but honestly, I'm not feeling this one. That's just my personal opinion, maybe people do just love it, and maybe they'll just pick it for the Sage's Grooves and ignore the rest, honestly. Might be good enough for that if you just don't want to run a single lap, but keep in mind, agility is not that important in leagues, because you have infinite run energy anyway at all times, so how much do you really care about? agility mainly just for shortcuts and for maxing your account because you inevitably want to yeah bit of a tricky one that if people are seeing things that i'm not then uh, definitely let me know in the comments but I, i'm not too hot on this one myself finally we have dodgy deals what a name Pickpocketing an NPC will also pickpocket all NPCs of a similar type in an 11 by 11 square. That's crazy. I'm trying to think of like the high level spots if there's any like clusters. It basically just mean hunting for new spots than the ones people use because usually people use a spot in Prif or in Versnaza where like they just have one isolated in a room because that's all they need. So I guess it just means we'll have to, to look around and figure out what the new best spots are to get that area of effect but very cool to potentially be able to pickpocket like imagine ham hideout you'd get a clue like every pickpocket holy shit imagine ham hideout sit searching for clues at this that is actually wild okay and you have a 100 percent success rate on all thieving checks as well so that's good automatically re-pickpocket an npc or stall until you can no longer do so. Very cool. I don't think stall was on that last time. Item obtained from pickpocketing and noted. Does this combine with this? Because it's saying pickpocket a stall as if it's treating doing a stall as a pickpocket. So does this mean that you can get... Let me look in the video and... Uh... Oh, they don't need to plate either. Okay, so it it wasn't noting the loot there from the stalls. It notes you, notes you, notes you, notes you, notes your loot from NPCs. Maximum coin badge increased by three times. Good for anyone who doesn't have candor in for the extra bonus on the Ardy Diary. And stalls don't deplete. Okay, personally for me, I think it's definitely between the Herb Law one and the Thieving one. Both have some really cool effects that you just don't usually get to see in the game. The auto pickpocketing I know is super nice when I get to do it in Valamor, so I can only imagine it'd be sick here too. Just like all of the time, not for brief intervals. Definitely make Steven AFK, which is good for me because I'm going to be going to Ranwin, so having access to those crystal shards just easily from from pickpocketing feels like it's pretty good. The Herblaw one though, I think I'm more tempted by this the earlier that they come. If this is like a tier 5 or 6 or something, then I'm probably going to be leaning more towards this because at that point of the game it'll be more useful to me. If it's like a tier 2 or 3, then I may have to go for this because like I say, you do so many random tasks in, in the game that require you to go and do these things that you just be constantly getting herbs the whole time. If this comes at tier 2 or 3, then it breaks open my early game because I'm planning to rush you in and I wouldn't mind getting some prayer pots for that. And like, if I can just passively get my prayer pots while I'm doing all my tasks and other shit that I need to get done, then that would be absolutely incredible. So I'm kind of hoping the teleport relics get moved on to tier 3 and these are tier 2 just so I can get in early and, and start getting loads of herbs while I'm going around doing all the random roundup tasks. But yeah, the uh, the dodgy deal's definitely no slouch either, and corner cutter, if you just want to skip out on agility, you can take it, but I feel like you're going to get a lot more value out of one of the other two, generally. Personally, at the minute, I am leaning in the direction of the friendly forager, but I can't wait to see what tier these are. Yeah, really excited about this tier, love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, what are you going to be picking off the bat? I guess, regardless of tiers, what's your favourite? I guess mine's the Friendly Forager, just because of the, the potential with this is insane. You could just not farm the entire league if you didn't want to, and that would be fine. More hyped um, as ever than ever, whatever the correct way of saying that is.
excited to hear what other people's opinions are on these two. And I'll have a video out in the next couple days with some sample builds for y'all. One of each melee, mage and range of what you could potentially do to have some good regions for those styles. And I have one that's a little special as well for a tank build. So I'll get that video out pretty soon. Other than that, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.